Okay, so part two of our transition state theory and salt effects, we're going to look at the salt effect in a much more mathematical approach. We have an equation that says log k equals log k naught plus 2 times q times zA times zB times the square root of i. k is going to be our rate constant with your salt present in solution, and then k naught is going to be your rate constant without your salt present in solution. Q is going to be a constant. The value for this is going to be 0 0.509 when your temperature equals 25 degrees Celsius. ZA is going to be A's charge. ZB is going to be B's charge. And then I is going to be this variable called ionic strength. Now ionic strength, in my opinion, out of all these variables, it's the biggest hassle because you have to calculate this out. And the way you calculate it out is you do a summation of concentration of ionic species I times the charge of that species I, or the, plus that's the charge of that species I inside your solution. And you need to do this for all your ions' presence inside the solution. Okay, so CI again is your concentration of a given species and then zi is going to be the charge of your species okay so now that we know what the variables are let's go ahead and take a look at this equation you'll notice it's really of the form y equals m x plus b so if you graph it you know you can get the slope you can get the intercepts you can get all that good stuff and solve for variables if you were presented with a graph of log k versus square root of i on a test. So these three possible scenarios, same color coding as on the previous video, we have za, zb equal to zero. And then we're going to have, let's say, za, zb equal to one. And then za, zb equal to two. Big important thing is that up above this line where ZAZB equals zero, we have faster reactions as you increase the concentration of I. And the greater the charges are on the particles or the greater their product becomes, the more pronounced increase you're going to see in the reaction rate. And then on the other hand, if you have like ZAZB equal to negative one, or ZA, ZB equal to negative two, we're gonna see that as you increase the salt concentration, basically going from left to right on this curve, on this graph, the slope becomes, neg the slope is negative and it becomes lower. That's because increase the concentration of I, reaction gets slower, okay? So on the bottom we have slower reactions and then on the top, we're going to have faster reactions.